now available for the first time in paperback why 70 percent of black women are single learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband and why 70 percent of black women are single get your copy of why 70 percent of black women are single on amazon.com today last week the coroner in bridgeport connecticut revealed the cause of death for ig model swirler and hashtag divestor lauren smith fields now your lauren smith fields was a black woman who was found dead inside of her home after a date with a older white man who she met on the dating app bumble now the coroner is revealing that the cause of death of lauren smith fields was a drug overdose which was a cocktail of different drugs including fentanyl and he has declared the death of lauren smith fields an accident now the family of lauren smith fields is contesting this finding by the coroner but when i take a critical examination of the cause of death of lauren smith fields basically it's looking more and more like the cause of the death of lauren smith fields was not the white man like many people including myself thought no the cause of lauren smith fields death was lauren smith fields now it looks like to me that your lauren smith fields was creating a rose-colored reality for herself and inside of that rose-colored reality she had imagined herself to be some sort of pseudo celebrity now after i watched kid organics video where he talked about the demise of swirler and hashtag divestor lauren smith fields and studied dennis sperling's revelation as related to your lauren smith fields issues as related to black men i'm really believing that your lauren smith fields had created this whole rose-colored fantasy where she imagined herself to be some sort of pseudo celebrity and it was this delusion that she created that led to her demise now the foundation for that delusion that your lauren smith fields had was her weight issues i believe now kid organic in his video stated that your lauren smith fields was heavier before she um, lost all this weight and became an IG model and once a person loses weight they completely change now I myself had lost weight in three periods in my life and in each period I had gone under some changes as related to my personality because when you lose weight you become a bit more confident and you start taking risks that you wouldn't have taken before whereas in my case i was taking risks with fashion and taking risks as related to going to different places in contrast to lauren smith fields she at being 23 years old lost weight and as i believe it lost her mind your lauren smith fields as i see it she got haughty she got extremely arrogant she got extremely full of herself and created this whole delusion in her mind that she was going to be some sort of model. And as she created this world around herself as a model, she then wanted to go out here and express contempt for those who she believed rejected her in the past. This is why on her online dating profile, she stated, that there were no colored men she wanted to get involved with and threw heterosexual black men under the bus because your dark-skinned Lauren Smith Fields probably felt like she had been disrespected by heterosexual black men in the past who did not check for her and now wanted to go out here and throw a middle finger up at those heterosexual black men by saying that she was only going to get involved with white men. That was one part of her delusion that she was creating for herself, was being able to think that she was so beautiful that she could reject black men 
who she believed rejected her, and now she wants to go out here and create this whole pseudo-celebrity persona where she makes herself out to be some sort of pseudo-celebrity on the social media platform Instagram. Now, on Instagram, your Lauren Smith Fields has, has herself on there as some sort of model, and she actually bought into the idea that she was actually doing real modeling. This is a delusion many black women get when they go on places like social media. They create these worlds around themselves that absolutely aren't real. And because there was a whole host of thirsty cyber simps going out here and posting their thirsty responses online, this went out here and gassed the head of Lauren Smith Fields up, making her think she was actually a real model, but she was not a real model. I go in depth on this in my book, Stop Simping in Cyberspace, which is on Amazon.com right now about these IG models and the delusion that they create for themselves. And your Lauren Smith Fields is a textbook example of a female who creates this kind of delusion around themselves. And she thought she was a model. However, real models work with agents and real models get booked on gigs. But your Lauren Smith Fields, she thought, oh, I'm on social media and I'm a model, so I can go out here and participate in the model lifestyle. However, all she was doing was basically telling a lie to herself. And this is something I talk about in depth in my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single. And your Lauren Smith feels that she told this lie to herself, what she was doing was trying to have this idea that she was going to go out here and stick it to black men by being this pseudo celebrity she imagined in her mind and she was going to go out here and pursue relationships with these white men and she was going to live this model lifestyle that she saw in the pages of magazines and heard about in the media and she was going to go out here and live this Hollywood lifestyle. That's what she was doing out here, going to different places and putting all these different pictures up on IG. She was trying to make it look like she was some sort of model, but basically she was just a swirler, hashtag divesting, and going out here and trading that booty for attention from white men. And those white men basically were going out here and turning her out for tricks. And that's how she was able to finance this lifestyle that she was living. And she would go on these online dates with these white male simps, go out here and possibly, again, get these guys to pay for her rent, pay for her bills, and get these guys to turn these tricks with her. And that's how she was financing her so-called model lifestyle. But there was nothing model about her behavior. She was basically prostituting herself, as I see it. And what was happening was, was she was just living this delusion. Because again, real models work for an agent. And a real model can tell you what agent they're working for and show you the pictures on their portfolio. You do not see real models going out here and having any sort of pictures on IG as related to their professional work. No, a model has all of their, per they may have some personal pictures on IG here and there, but their professional portfolio is on their official website and that professional, prof professional website official is there so that they can go out here and have their agent book gigs. But I don't think your Lauren Smith Fields had any sort of agent. No, she was just one of these wannabe models and creating this reality around herself. And she created this reality because she wanted to look like she was something bigger than she was. 
And as she was trying to make herself look bigger than she was, she was trying to adopt this high-profile champagne lifestyle where she would be having the designer clothes, the designer handbags, and even taking the designer drugs. Now, that's where we get into what really caused the death of Lauren Smith Fields, her getting caught up in this fantasy as related to the world of modeling. Now, I believe that your Lauren Smith Fields, she made a critical, two critical mistakes on this online date. One was she went out here and gave this white guy her address, and two, she went out here trying to impress said white man. Now, we know that these swirlers and hashtag divesters, they deify and they worship white men, and because they deify and worship white men, they always try to find a way to impress these white men. And I believe that's what happened in the case of your Lauren Smith Fields. She went out here trying to impress this bottom shelf Brad, and she wanted to try to show that she could go out here and live this lavish lifestyle where she could be just like the white female models she envied in all of the pages in of the magazines. Now, your Lauren Smith Fields probably heard about all the stories of these white female models who, like your Gia's who were out here taking drugs and she probably thought that was all part of the model lifestyle and thought this would be a way to impress these white men and she probably thought oh I'll go out here and do these drugs and it will get me more attention and favor of these white men and that's why she when she met this guy online after talking to him on Bumble and inviting him into her home she went out here taking these drugs and that's probably one of the reasons why she was out here taking so many drugs she saw this bottom shelf tr three trash bag Brad and wanted to show him she could live the high life like your supermodels but as she was sitting there with the three trash bag Brad and sitting there with this dude. She was probably taking one drug after the next, trying to get herself super high to impress him and possibly trying to get super high to possibly forget the sex acts she was going to do with this man. That possibly was what her plan was when she got involved with this white man. And unfortunately, as she was out here trying to take this whole cocktail of drugs, including fentanyl, what happened to your Lauren Smith Fields is she probably wound up getting into bed to get ready to fornicate with said white man, and then wound up screwing herself out of her own life because she wound up overdosing on this on all of these drugs she took as part of that cocktail. And that cocktail included alcohol, fentanyl, and several other drugs. And we know that if you take fentanyl right by itself, this is a not a drug you want to take when you want to be in any sort of place because people who take fentanyl, that's really, they're really serious addicts. And that's probably what your Lauren Smith Fields sadly was in this case. And after she OD'd on all of these drugs, this white man probably found her like this because he was probably sitting there all night with his ashy dick and his dry balls. And that's when he probably called the police. And that's when they did the investigation. Now, this guy, he basically covered himself, went by staying there all night because as he stayed there, what he did was make it where law enforcement would not see him as a suspect because if he had left there, then they would have seen him as a suspect. So that's probably why law enforcement made the, I, I believe, wrong choice in saying that, oh, he was a nice guy because in the eyes of white supremacy, a white man who just sits there with a black female for the night, even after she passes away, 
basically is a nice guy because according to your white supremacists when they deal with these swirlers it's a basically a pump and dump deal and once they finish pumping and dumping the white girl they basically wash their dick off in the sink and then go on out here and go about their business back in, in their own suburban lifestyle so him staying there basically showed that he basically wasn't a suspect and he had an alibi and while some people don't believe that this guy um, was as honest as that I can look at the details of the case and that possibly is the details of the case because when you look at the behavior of this white man again his actions they, they 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 fall right in line with somebody who would not possibly be a suspect and that's probably what the police thought when they said he was a nice guy now that was the wrong thing to say when you're in the middle of an investigation and that raised a lot of questions as related to the investigation especially from Lawrence Smith Fields family who thought there was something suspect going on I mean I even thought there was something suspect going on as related to the case of Lawrence Smith Fields until I heard the autopsy in Kid Organics video and heard the coroner discussing the details of her demise and those details of Lawrence Smith Fields demise just show us that the cause of Lawrence Smith Fields death was Lawrence Smith Fields and the motivation for that demise was her trying to show out and impress a three trash bag Brad White man who she deified and worshipped because she had lost some weight become extremely haughty and arrogant and because she was haughty and arrogant she created this delusion and this fantasy rose-colored reality around herself where she imagined herself as some sort of IG model and thought that she had the justification at 23 years old to participate in the model lifestyle even though she had not done any of the work of a model now I have talked to models online and I have done research on models and what your Lawrence Smith feels was not was doing was not modeling no again models have agents models book shoots and usually their boyfriend is right there when they're doing the shoot you don't see a model going on online dating on apps like Bumble which basically are hookup apps and you don't see models going out here bringing guys to their house now this is what led to the death of another model and back then I thought that um that there was another beta male murderer who was stalking her at the time that that Mercedes whatever her name was but what was happening there with Mercedes I believe was the same thing was happening with Lawrence Smith Fields they create this persona that they are a model but really what they're doing is being call girls and they're basically trading booty for bucks so that they can make it look like they're having this lavish lifestyle and all these guys are doing is financing this because what they do is they she does the online dates with the white guys and she also finances it by taking the pictures on IG and then getting the cash apps and the PayPal's from the thirsty dysfunctional beta male black men and they get all this money and that's how they finance their living here in, out in places like Bridgeport because Bridgeport is a very expensive area in Connecticut and what this woman was doing was paying for this by selling the coochie to these different guys and going out here expressing her contempt for the black men but she would probably possibly take the money from the black men who were probably sitting there dropping the cash apps prop dropping the PayPal donations and making her look like a big shot and making and further gassing her head so that's what I ha believe happened in the case of your Lauren Smith Fields and her family does not know what the uh, what was really going on they're just thinking oh my daughter is some sort of model and some sort of actress and that that when I look at the pictures of her on IG 
and her actions, they're not looking like model or actress behavior. Because again, true to the game models and true to the game actresses, they don't need to go online dating. No, there are lots of men who are already they are already getting involved with uh, in different areas. Like they can just go to an agent's office or be on the set, and there are guys there who are talking to them ev at every shoot or every project that they're working on. I mean, some some of these guys are um, people who are in the industry, and then there are guys who are just basically working on different types of jobs. So they, they, there are different guys out there, which Lauren Smith feels wasn't interested in any of those guys because she had this delusion about white men. And what she wanted to do was go out here and get herself a three t trash bag Brad or a three trash bag Tim and go out here and take this duffel bag Don and show you black men that she could be better than you but sadly she didn't show us that she could be better than a black that she'd be better off with a black man all that she was was a tragic tale of swirling gone wrong because she was involved in interracial relationships for the absolutely wrong reasons she only wanted to get involved with white men to express her contempt for black men and at the end of the day it was her efforts to try to show contempt for black men and her obsession with being just like a white woman that led to her demise because what she wanted to do by again taking these drugs was trying to impress this white man and she was trying to show that she could take drugs just like the white girls she read about in many magazines like Vogue, the tragic stories of models like Gia and many others and she wanted to show that she could be better than the white woman and impress this white man as he was getting ready to turn her out because basically again Bumble is a hookup site and all she was looking to all he was looking to do was hook up and get some easy chocolate draws he wanted to get into the skid mark thong but sadly, he never got a chance to get into the skid mark thong because your Lauren Smith Field sadly passed away before he could get the skid mark thong to be taken down. And that's what happened here as related to the case of Lauren Smith Fields. It's a truly tragic story, and it's a tragic story of swirling gone wrong. And really, it's the story of a haughty female who can't, who, whose arrogance led to her own demise because probably there were people who probably tried to tell her not to be out here like this, but she decided to be out here like this and went out here and let this led to her, her own self-destruction. She went out here thinking, oh, I'm going to finally find one of these white guys to be the Prince Charming to take me to happily ever after. And instead of her being taken to happily ever after, she took she punched a one-way ticket to hell with this white man. And this one-way ticket to hell was one that she took because after taking all of those drugs and living this lifestyle, we know she was not living to serve the Most High. She was not looking to be a wife to a man. No, she was looking to live this lifestyle where she told herself the lie she was a model but in actuality she was a harlot living this dark life and the dark the whole thing is all the things that she did in the dark eventually came into the light when she went when she left this world now if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behavior of behave of black women like lauren smith fields you can pick up my book why 70 percent of black women are single and in that book, I go in depth on why women like this are single and what what dysfunction leads to them not being able to find any man who would be interested in getting involved with her and making her a wife. And if you want, excuse me, if you want to learn more about the kind of thirsty dudes who lurk on places like Instagram and social media looking for the attention of a woman like a Lauren Smith Fields, you can also pick up my book, Stop Simping in Cyberspace, 
Both of these books are available on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. They are also available on other online platforms like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today.